Hello everyone, Akuni here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going over my October Whips and Finished Projects. For those of you who don't know, Whip means work in progress, a term used in most crafting hobbies and professions. This video will show off all of my current Whips from October, and any projects I finished in the past 31 days. Uh, note, I will only be showing the projects I've worked on in the month of October, so take for example I work on a blanket in September but not October, I'm not going to show it. So, without further ado, let's get started. So today we are going to start with my finished projects, uh, just because they're the least amount of them. So, first things first, um, I did finish a love ball. Uh, I tried to applique the heart, but I think I'm going to rip this up and either uh, use felt or sew a better heart for this. But um, I believe this was a... This was a scrap buster project because I had a little bit of pink left from a scarf that I had been working on. Um, so I wanted to use some of that up. And yeah, I started this uh, on Labor Day weekend and didn't finish it until October. So, you know, that's, that's how uh, up to date I am with a lot of things. So. And then, I only have two other, technically two, um, I've been making some more coasters, and this here is an apple coaster, made out of cotton yarn, um, likewise the other one is, uh, pumpkins, pumpkin coasters, um, these are the only ones that I've sewn the ends in, so that's why they're considered finished, but I am going to be making a set of six for these. I don't know if this is going to be a one-off project, because I do have a bin of miscellaneous coasters um, that people can pick and choose from, so I'll, I'll, I'll think about what I want to do with this. Maybe I'll just use up the rest of my red. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my cotton red, so I'll find something to do. That being said, I do have, for my whips, a full six set of these pumpkin coasters, but I have not yet sewn in any of the, you know, tails for that. So that is a to-do project. I'm just going to end up tossing these into the bag of other um, projects that need to get everything um, all the tails sewn in, so that's just gonna be a project for when I turn on a podcast and just have at them. And then it looks like I also did a dishcloth. It's small, as you can see, my hand is medium. Well, I, I use large gloves, um, when I use vinyl gloves, so, um, it's, I guess, fairly large. Um, this is, again, cotton, and it's got a little uh, hook here, so if you want, you can slip it on so it doesn't fall uh, when you're washing dishes. And then, I believe the next one I have is a rupee that I'm working on. Uh, I'm planning on doing a bigger set of these. Um, I should say, uh, more multiple sets. So this is just gonna go towards that set. One day I might get like a size five or six red polyester yarn and make like a pillow, but <laughs> today is not that day. So uh, I just need to sew this up just to about here and then embroider all of the stitching on, and then stuff it, and then finish sewing, and then it'll be done, which, another easy, simple project, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. And then, I'm still working on my donation scarf. Um, I believe this one is actually for November, because uh, looking in my book for donation scarves, um, I'm pretty much 
much, like, nearly done with the year. Um, my mom and I, which I'll do a separate video showing all of the crocheted stuff that we finished that we're going to be donating. Right now, because of COVID, we're unsure if we're able to donate in our normal place or if they're accepting handmade items, but we'll see. We have to make an appointment and we'll 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 just see on what they're willing to take. But um, this is actually my second skein of the multi-black yarn by Mainstays. Um, this is the first gray skein that we used um, that you saw last month. So alright, and then I am still working on the turkey hat, but I am in the process of finishing up the feathers that can be sewn to the back of the hat, and then I need eyes, the beak, and then the whatever you call it, the gibbler thing. So, um, these are just, uh, I have yellow and orange, and I'm going to be making red. And I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. Um, I work today, which you guys are seeing this on Saturday. I work today and I work tomorrow. So I'm going to see if I have any downtime and just kind of like finish this. Because yeah, all the feathers are going to be sewn on like this. I'm just going to put this one like that. I don't know. Maybe I don't even need these last ones. Who knows? Now maybe I can move these like this. Yeah, that's gonna look great. Um, and then, of course, this will be um, because this was a commission. Um, this will be handed over in exchange for money before I am able to do November's um, video. So I will make sure to do a separate one of just this. So make sure to watch November's video for that little insert. And then the last project that I worked on this month is a polyester baby blanket for Dex niece. Technically my niece, but we're not married yet, so legally she is not my niece, but she is my niece in my heart, and that's all that matters. Um, it's a soft baby yarn. Um, means, uh, yarn Inspirations Brene Baby Blanket. Um, the... Let's see. What color is this? Raspberry Kisses. That's cute. Um, the colors for the baby room is gold and pink, so I figured what better blankets to make than this. So, I'm really hoping that they enjoy it. I'm gonna, once it's done, uh, hopefully it'll be done in time for Christmas, but we'll, we'll see. So, uh, but yeah, that is my last whip project. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit those buttons. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And then uh, make sure that if you subscribe, you hit that ding dong notification bell in order to make sure that you never miss the next Whips and Finished Projects video. Uh, otherwise, you can always look at my Minecraft, my Borderlands, and yes, eventually I will get the rest of Franbo up for Frytober. So, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful time zone. Until next time, my lovelies. Mwah! Thank <laughs> you.